with another Celebrate Life 531 Season 3 interview. Yeah, season 3. If I could say it in five different languages, I would, but I can't. I give you one language. I give you two, three, and three. There you go. Anyway, we sitting here with the phenomenal, the hard worker, the hustler, the grinder, the beautiful mind of Miss Keisha Spain. I'm not even gonna go in and do the introduction completely. I just wanted y'all to know that she is phenomenal. She is great, and she's gonna share some of her perspectives with us today. Um, and then also behind the camera, you got. The, the the young phenom, the young and old phenom, he young and old at the same time. He really is. <laughs> Khalil Houston. That man is, he is the man. So, with nothing, with, you know, not want to drag it out at all, uh, Miss Keisha, can you just introduce yourself a little bit and tell them what you do? I know they can see what you do, but can you tell them a little bit about yourself? I am Keisha Spain, natural hair specialist, loctician. Um, nurse turned stylist um i specialize in natural hair and locks um and also practice styling with a medical perspective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this noggin right here has been taken care of by miss keisha spain since i've returned back to richmond which i returned to richmond in 2015. so wow. i've been coming here probably since yep late 2015. And now we into, whoa, it's 2019. Wow. Time is flying. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So my locks have, nobody else touches my hair. Only person that touched my hair is my wife and Miss Keith. Period. But nonetheless, Brother Khalil, man, let's jump into these questions. So Miss Spain, how do you celebrate life? How do I celebrate life? I celebrate life every single day um, by telling myself that it's my birthday. I create a celebration when and where others would think there is none. So celebration for me looks like gratitude, meditation, um, timeouts. So I celebrate um, daily through uplifting myself and others. I feel like um, it's a necessity at this point. It's, it's no longer an option, but it is on my list of things to do every day is think about the celebration that I'm grateful and privileged to have. Mm. Gratitude is major. Um, this is you know, your perspective shifts when you actually know how to live for gratitude, though. Like, sometimes it's kind of hard to be grateful. I guess you could say when you're going through something and you only focus on the something. Right. And not on the actual fact that you're still breathing or, you know, something. It's something so simple that we can be grateful for that, you know, you can lose your focus. So, to say that gratitude is one of the things you focus on, that's, a, that's powerful in itself. So... Much respect to that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What you, you got anything to add on, brother? Mm. I'm gonna let that breathe, man. <laughs> <laughs> let that breathe. So, uh, so we just got down. The first question was, how? How do you celebrate mm -hmm. life? So the second question is, why, why do you celebrate life? Why? Like why? Like what's the essence of celebration? Like what's the essence of that? Like life within itself. Life for me is being alive. I know a lot of people who are. I know a lot of people who are living, but they're not alive. Mm -hmm. um, so, everything sort of changed for me when I realized that I was alive. I had to go through hell to get mm -hmm. there, but once I realized that I was alive, I told myself I would never die again. Um, so it's it's really a daily quest for me to be better than I was yesterday, but not as good as I'll be tomorrow. So I celebrate life because I know a lot of people who will never get a chance to. Mm -hmm. Respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, if you don't feel like if you don't feel like or realize that you have things to celebrate, you never will. 
So some people wait until things come to them or they reach where they need to go, but I'm already celebrating things and places that I haven't even been yet. So. That's a mouthful right there. Right. That's a lot. Mm. The first thing I... To be able to celebrate where you haven't been yet is to realize that you already have it. Yes, definitely. I definitely do. So I think about things like my children and their future, um, my future, um, my business, um, just everything. I find gratitude and a reason in anything. I don't need a reason to celebrate. Being alive is a reason to celebrate. Sheesh. Mm. And it's a good time to be alive. Right. If you don't, like, there's something in the atmosphere mm. right now um, that involves heavy elevation. And if mm. you're not ready, mm. you're going to miss this wave and you're going to regret it and you're going to be sorry. So the challenge is to wake up every day. And if, you, if it's not readily accessible, find it. Dig deep and find something that excites you. Find something. Now I'm to the point where I want to get out the bed in the morning. I want to see what's ahead of me because I'm alive. Mm. So she kind of went into the last thing. She did. So if you had anything to tell anybody. Matter of fact. What's up? Matter of fact, what would you tell your children? Like you had to tell them in a brief statement, this is why you should celebrate life. What would that statement be to them? You may not get another opportunity. You have to... You have to celebrate right now. You have to do it right now, today, because nothing after that is promised. So if if I'm found for my transition today, it's going to be smooth because I'm going to always be found inside of my celebration. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing, bro. I don't have nothing, though. And she was scared, y'all. Lip was sweating. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, don't talk with his lips sweat. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. Nah, man, that, that, yo, man, I, oh, man, it's, 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 uh, it's always refreshing to get, to be able to hear somebody else's perspective on life. Uh, definitely when you understand what everybody got different experiences, you know, because we all have went through something, and she hasn't even, Share with you her experiences and that's what she went through. But from what the things I, I known from being able to be privileged and honest to have her, you know, the one working on my head, like to know what she she comes from and what she's doing, she's a blessing. You know what I mean? Because you can be on a everything we all have went through can cause us to always be on a whole nother side of the fence. Right. We don't have to be where we are. And sometimes we take for granted, instead of being grateful, the things that we went through and seeing how we still made it to where we are. Sometimes we can look at those situations and be like, why I had to go through it forgetting that, hey, you made it to where you are right now. You had the ability to celebrate. You had the ability to do what you're doing. You're missing out on all the blessings that you have because you're so focused on, man, that sucked that I had to experience this. Yeah. So to hear individuals that know that their experiences wasn't caused by them, but they take accountability to the experiences so they can enjoy and live their life, it's a beautiful thing. Yes, so, so happy birthday. Every day is your birthday. Fact. Celebrate. It's a celebration. 5 Not doing it like that. The second season, it just calls for too much um, room for error like room right. for just to kind of get bored or to get unfocused so having somebody have an interview and dropping one every day in May is, it has to be done like that for it to be efficient and I'm that type of person that when I'm in something I just got to be in it all the way because yeah. my, my mind will veer off and I get caught up in something else I'm interested in and now I'm wondering where I'm going Mm-hmm. Why you do that? I ain't get the piece. <laughs> I ain't get the piece. I mean, I know I need. I, um, I get bored easily.
Oh, man. The first sign of a creative mind. <laughs> because our, our minds are always in so many places at one time. Right. That when it's on one thing, it has to be something that holds your attention. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because that's swell. That first I'm always season? doing two things. Always. It sometimes it make me mad, though, because I'm like... We'll be having a conversation. Say, Vincent, we'll be on our call that we have each week. And somebody will say something, and it be so dope. And I have an idea that the idea turns into, man, we know that could be turned into blah, 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 blah. Right. And I'm still responding and talking on the call because I'm still attentive to what's going on. The other thing is, most people don't have a multi dimensional mind, they process in one capacity. Right. So when you see something, nine times out of ten, you thinking about it personally, creatively, objectively. Right. You know what I mean? So I feel everything, it's definitely multi-dimensional. That's why I can't be around certain people because you like, I don't like talking to you because it, you know it's not going to be any dialogue involved. Right. I was helping somebody get ready for an interview. She opened her team up. She was coming over Mr. Photographer, sir, I need a family photo shoot, particularly since I'm engaged now. Congratulations. Oh! <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh! Get your brother. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Everybody just popping that question. Wait a minute, so I had the whole you need to step up conversation, and I didn't even find it. Damn. So I was, I was so out of pocket. Mm. <laughs> but that was a reflection of on my work and patience. Cause it was happening, but like, just not according to my time. Right. Mm. Regrets, man. Yeah. So my ring is at the jeweler being signed. <laughs> oh, no. She's like, I ain't say she don't say it, but she was thinking it. Yeah, that happened since I saw y'all last. Like, you don't know how many times Keisha told me something. That's powerful. Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> did you dry your stuff, Kay? Yes. Okay, you can lift it up. Did you did you call me, ma'am? You is a man. You 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 is a man. Are you a sir? No. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Thank you. I hate you with the coach card. I ain't no sir. Or are you a madam? Are you, are you a madam? That's some good footage, man. I appreciate you, man. Y'all need to know hey, if you need anything videography, photography, holler at Khalil's Houston. Khalil underscore Houston on IG. Also, if you need some instant, matter of fact, if you need your soul touched by words of wisdom, <laughs> let me put it that way. Something that's going to change your perspective and be so impactful that you're going to have to ask him to say it again. Also, I like Kid Khalil Houston. But for this moment right now, for this moment right now, we talk videography, photography, and video creation. So, hit them up on that behalf. Put hashtag celebrate life 531 in there. That's what. DM them. Yo. So, the questions for celebrate life are how do you celebrate life? Why do you celebrate life? And if you could have to explain it in a brief statement with 
celebrate life means to someone, what would you tell them? Those are the three. And then beforehand, always do introductions and share ways for individuals to get in contact with you. So whoever watches it, you know, they see what you do, they hear about it, they at least get in contact with you and they would like to get services and then your uh, information will be added to the video as well as far as like your Instagram or whatever else you may want to add to it too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep it, keep it simple. So, you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to ask the question? You can, bro. So first question is, how, why, do, you, how do you celebrate mm-hmm. life? And the second question is, why wow. do you celebrate life? Yeah. And then the third question is... Basically explain what celebrate life in a brief statement. Yeah. That's it. Mm-hmm. So, um, Miss Spain. <laughs> Miss Spain. Come on, man. All that talk, all that talk you got up in there <laughs> when the camera on. You like, oh my God. Because I'm shy. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay. From the man that's a spoken word artist. Mm-hmm. Oh man, I know that. I know that feeling. <laughs> you be like, what the? Mm-hmm. I'm comfortable where I'm comfortable. This is going out to the masses. That is all good. But you have services that support and can be used for the masses, and you have a source of knowledge that is for the masses as well. It's not just for those in the chair, but for those that need it anywhere. Because who you talk to in the chair can turn around and talk to two. And those two can turn around and talk to ten. You know, I know what lingo goes. And then two talk to twenty, and yeah, twenty talk to forty. Mm-hmm. Forty talk to honey, God. And we over here changing lives, and it could start right there. And it did start right there plenty of times in that chair. Yeah. You got to come back to the source. When I woke up at five o'clock this morning, <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, you just popped up on her. <laughs> oh, I thought you knew. Oh, he came in that joint like um. So look. He was like um. So we did the, the regular little Willy Bobo first, and then he said, "So you ready?" And I'm like, "Ready? I'm like ready to do your hair? Of course. You have an appointment." It's like, no, ready to celebrate life, interview. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I was like, of course I'm ready to celebrate life. I love life. <laughs> no, With the just... toe out. With the... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these some hard working toes. Oh, no, I understand. Every now and again, they be like, one and then the two. <laughs> then you gotta breathe. I'm tired, ball. But I'm grateful for the overflow. So y'all 